hello. So my name is Yves. I'm, I'm project manager at Camp to Camp, and uh, yeah, we are going to talk. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, Joma Fish, which is a um, uh, WebJS uh, platform. So yes, uh, I will start with a, a use case after a short introduction, and um, yeah, sort of a Joma Fish story. We we'll say success story, and um, then uh, we'll yeah, have a project status and see what's new with the platform. Okay, so about Come to Camp, a short introduction. So uh, uh, it was founded in 2001. We are now, I guess, 2,000 employees, uh, 200 employees, uh, so a bit more than here. Uh, we are located in France, Germany, and Switzerland. Um, headquarters are in Switzerland, close to Lausanne, where I'm from. Um, we are active in three areas, but uh, always uh, open source. So uh, business solutions department is about uh, ERPs. Um, that's the infrastructure department for uh, management, uh, cloud management. And uh, of course, the geospatial department, um, why I am here to, uh, today. Uh, so at Joma Fish Story, uh, I chose to, to tell you about the, the project uh, for Geomap Fish at uh, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. So it's a campus uh, in Lausanne. Um, they have more than uh, 17,000 uh, students and employees, so it's quite, quite big, uh, with 10,000 rooms and 65 buildings. So they have some, some needs. Uh, people need to find their way. Uh, new uh, newcomers, new uh, new students uh, have. A, it's like a maze to find a, a room at uh, at EPFL. Um, uh, professionals need to to manage and to edit uh, data uh, about rooms, about places at EPFL. Um, yeah, they, ha they need also reporting PDFs. Um, it's. As I said, it's for students and visitors, but it's also for professionals to manage data and to, uh, yeah, for firefighters, for instance. Um, and it's very important for them to have a long-term solution. So what are the issues uh, at EPFL? Uh, they have many sources. The, the, the data is complex. Um, it's, it comes from many, from many services. Uh, I can't count the number of services that uh, uh, push some data in the, in the application. Um, many different formats. Uh, students and visitors getting lost, as I said. Uh, there are also too much information to display on, the, uh, on one map, so we have to find a way to organize the information. And for professionals, um, they have some tools uh, already, but uh, they had some tools already, but uh, they were too complex for some, uh, some services. Some uh, want to have complex uh, interfaces, but some, some uh, need really simple ones. So um, the, the first uh, web map at EPFL was uh, uh, published in 2002, so it's quite a uh, old project. Uh, first, it was only for students and visitors, and in 2011, we added the uh, WebJS for professionals. And actually, that was the first editing features for Joma Fish that was that were developed at this moment for this project for EPFL. So at this time, I was uh, still a, a developer at Come to Camp, and then I became a project manager still in this project. <laughs> so uh, what we arrived is with solutions for, for them. So um, with Germafish, we have a flexibility and a high interoperability. Uh, so it's very good for this kind of project with uh, many sources, uh, different sources, different data, different um, um, uh, formats. Um, we had a customized interface, that's the one that you see here, for students and visitors. So we worked with graphic designers to have a very uh, a simple um, uh, interface for, our, for students and visitors. Um, as a features, we have our itineraries to uh, help uh, students find, find a room or a, a auditorium, etc. 
PDF print for reports. Um, and we have a, a, another interface that's different for uh, professionals that, uh, that is uh, um, more like the standard of Geomapfish with a lot of uh, tools uh, and some of those tools are, are not available for, uh, for visitors and, and students. And of course, mobile and desktop. About long-lasting co collaboration, so yeah, it started in 2002. <laughs> And um, so it, it's a long-lasting collaboration. And of course, uh, as you know, of, uh, open source is good for that, that kind of project. Um, we have a, a broad community around Geomapfish, so it's a win-win situation with uh, uh, what we do for PFL can be put also uh, for the community and uh, the, what the new stuff in the community goes to, uh, to EPFL projects. And we can follow the technology evolution thanks to open source. And uh, what is also important here is that uh, um, EPFL has a need of um, some consulting also from camp to camp because uh, they don't know exactly how they want to achieve what uh, what uh, what they need. And so, uh, so yeah, we have a, a lot of requirements analysis for, for this project. So results. So yeah, it's uh, 20, uh, for more than 20 years of successful experience for the customer, also for us. <laughs> um, the, the application is widely, widely used by all, all students and uh, many uh, professionals. And um, yeah, we are, everything is happy with the project. And we have a, a lot of uh, new layers, new features in the pipeline. What you, what you see here is a, is a BIM uh, model. So uh, build, building uh, information modeling, yeah? <laughs> so, uh, and uh, yeah, this is one of the next features that we will uh, implement in this project uh, to have uh, a BIM model uh, integrated into the, the, the current application. So, yes, so now about uh, more about uh, Geomapfish and new, new, new stuff. Um, so, first, what is Geomapfish? So, it's a WebJS, it's highly customizable, it's interoperable with, with um, uh, OGC standards, of, of course, and um, feature rich. It's, uh, yeah, uh, it, it, it started uh, more than 20 years ago, so we, we added a lot of features. Uh, it's secure, and we have a, a broad and active community. Uh, I put secure here in red because uh, it's uh, some very important focus for us in the last uh, last year uh, to add more security in the in the product. Uh, ongoing improvements. So um, we are in a process of moving to web components. Uh, we started this, uh, uh, I would say, two years ago, something. But uh, yeah, it's a long process. Um, and we are now focusing on maintainability, and for this, uh, we are trying to, um, to, to 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 change a bit the architecture to be able to use uh, any modern build tool uh, and any um, modern framework. Uh, because yeah, we have to go uh, out of Angular JS, and um, for this also we try to to separate uh, more the backend uh, from the frontend, uh, and to be able to use the backend that is quite solid uh, with alternative frontends, and not only uh, NGO as you we can see in this uh, uh, schema here. Um, so NGO is the current uh, frontend of Geomapfish. Um, it is still with some Angular JS in it, so we are slowly moving to web components. And also, we are working on a new uh, front end. Uh, there is a new um, community that uh, was uh, created like less than one year ago, and it's uh, GeoGiraffe. And GeoGiraffe is um, uh, a front end for uh, the C2C Geoportal, which is the back end of Geomapfish. And we are working together with this community to, uh, to have uh, this new uh, improved um, front end. But it doesn't mean that we uh, let uh, an NGO go because uh, uh, GeoGiraffe is not finished. And even if uh, at this, uh, the end of this year we should have a um, uh, something that is produ production ready, but it, uh, it doesn't have all the features of uh, NGO. And so we continue to maintain and to improve NGO to be able to continue to have projects uh, with it. 
uh, and new new projects now start with NGO mainly because there, uh, there are so many more features. And on the right I put, yeah, why not other front ends? So it's very important for us to really have this work of separating the front end from the back end. A word about Kubernetes. Uh, we are now Kubernetes ready. Uh, we can um, use an Apple Shift and Argo CD and uh, an Azure. Um, with the um, um, object storage, uh, it can be S S3 or as uh, Azure Blob com Container. Um, we did some work also to mutualize some services, uh, of course, to reduce costs. And so, uh, uh, the, the PDF generator, my fish print, is now mutualized, and also the, 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 the tile service to create tiles, uh, tile cloud chain, is also uh, mutualized. We have now seven projects in production with Kubernetes and two uh, through in progress, so it's come, coming more and more into uh, this new uh, uh, architecture and new development process. Uh, uh, just to have a look at uh, different containers we have in Geomafish, so we can, you can see how, how it works all together. Uh, so the Geomafish web application is the, the, the first container. It, it talks with the Geomafish server, um, and the Geomafish server uses the map engine. It can be a map server, a QG server, a geo server, and the map engine, of course, with the database. On the right, I, I added the, the Mapfish print for the PDF uh, generator, um, and also some containers for configuration and uh, for uh, migrating databases with uh, Alembic. On the left here, you have the, 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 the tile management with tile cloud chain, which has, can, can go and get the, 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 the the tiles from the object storage or on the fly uh, directly from uh, the map engine, depending on configuration. And to add some more complexity, <laughs> you have the tile cloud chain slave to, to pre-generate all the tiles. And uh, for this, we use a Redis uh, uh, queue. Um, but yeah, all, all the GROs here are not very important to understand, but so you have a, a view of uh, how it works. So now work in progress. Uh, we have the cloud-optimized Geotiff that were, uh, actually it's, uh, it's already done, the support of, uh, of COGS. Um, I had the information that uh, the day, not yesterday, the day before, we had the first uh, uh, project with a COG in production. Uh, so it's, uh, it's, it's already, already there. We are working on OpenID Connect for uh, authentic authentication. Um, we have al already s several authentication pro possibilities, but uh, the, the OpenID Connect will be implemented soon. And we are working also on the new standards uh, OGC API for sharing uh, geospatial data. So, things to remember about Jamafish. So it's a flexible and comprehensive WebGIS. Um, it's a very active project. We are working on many things in parallel uh, with a broad community. And we are ready for modern deployment, as I said, with uh, uh, yeah, Docker and Kubernetes. And you have the website here, jamafish.org. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Eve, for the nice presentation. Questions? Please. No one? It was really clear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, so regarding authentication, does it also work with Keycloak? Uh, the software, have you heard of it? So uh, the idea of going to OpenID is the idea is to, to use Keycloak, but it's not yet done, but it is, uh, it is planned, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm.